Brace yourselves, sports enthusiasts, because we're about to unravel the epic saga of the Sharp family. A tale so drenched in drama and triumph, it feels like a Hollywood script come to life. This story isn't just a collection of touchdowns and tackles. It's a whirlwind of passion, a legacy carved into the very heart of sports history, showcasing skills that leave jaws on the floor. Fasten your seatbelts, because this narrative is all about etching unforgettable marks in the NFL, marks that resonate for generations. Before we kick off this roller coaster ride, a quick heads up. Hit that subscribe button, folks. Loving this kind of content? Then go ahead. Smash that thumbs up to show your love. Now, are you strapped in and ready to unravel the Sharp family's legendary journey? Let's roll! Born in the bustling world of Chicago, Illinois on June 26, 1968, Shannon Sharp was no ordinary football player. He was a colossus on the gridiron, spending a whopping 14 seasons in the National Football League primarily with the Denver Broncos. Talk about a living legend. Sharp towers in the annals of football history as one of the all-time great tight ends, ranking third in receptions, receiving yards, and touchdowns among players at his position. He's the pioneer, the very first NFL tight end to blast past the 10,000 receiving yards milestone. And oh boy, did he strut into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2011 with style. Shannon's ascent to NFL superstardom began at Savannah State University. There, he was a force to be reckoned with for the Tigers in Division II college football. A riddle wrapped in a mystery. Too hefty to be a receiver, yet too nimble to be a typical tight end. But the Denver Broncos, with their keen eye, spotted the spark in him, scooping him up in the seventh round of the 1990 NFL Draft. A couple of seasons warming up as a receiver, Denver struck gold by switching him to tight end. And that, folks, was the turning point. Flash forward to a 1993 playoff clash with the Los Angeles Raiders. Shannon's on fire, matching a playoff record with 13 catches, racking up 156 yards, and nailing a touchdown. Fast forward to the 2000 AFC Championship game against the Oakland Raiders. Now with the Ravens, Shannon pulls off a stunner snagging a short pass on the third down with 18 yards to go from his own four-yard line. He blazes 96 yards for a touchdown. That's right, the only touchdown in the Ravens' 16-3 triumph. During his time with the Broncos, Shannon wasn't just playing the game. He was rewriting the rules. Seven consecutive Pro Bowls, four first-team All-Pros, and not just one, but two Super Bowl victories in a row. Then, donning the Baltimore Ravens colors, he clinched another Super Bowl win and an eighth Pro Bowl selection. When Sharp stepped off the field for the last time, he left an indelible mark as the reigning tight end king in receptions, yards, and touchdowns. But hold on, the story doesn't stop there. Post-retirement, Sharp stormed into the sports media world like a hurricane, from slicing through debates as a razor-sharp analyst on the NFL Today on CBS Sports to co-hosting Skip and Shannon, undisputed with Skip Bayless on Fox Sports 1. The man was a media juggernaut. His voice, a familiar echo on CBS Sports pregame shows, and resonating through the airwaves of his podcast, Club Shay Shay. All right, time to hit the brakes for a second. If you're hooked on stories of glory, legacy, and the heart-pounding excitement of the NFL, you're in for a treat. Smash that subscribe button for more edge-of-your-seat stories. Now let's dive back into the Sharp family's incredible journey. Here we go. Now, let's swing the spotlight to the other Sharp star, Sterling, Shannon's big brother. Born into the bustling world of Chicago, Illinois, Sterling Sharp was a maestro on the field, dazzling fans with the spellbinding plays for the Green Bay Packers. His college days at South Carolina, nothing short of legendary, setting records that had fans jumping out of their seats. His number two jersey, retired by the university, a testament to his sheer brilliance. Drafted by the Green Bay Packers in the first round of the 1988 NFL Draft, Sterling didn't just step onto the field, he exploded onto it. Starting every Every game in his rookie season, he was known for his iron grip and fearless plays, diving into traffic to snatch those impossible catches. His partnership with quarterback Brett Favre, pure magic, turning them into one of the league's most formidable duos. In 1992, Sterling shattered the NFL single-season receptions record. But wait, the 1993 season saw Sterling take it up another notch. He racked up an astonishing 112 receptions, making history as the first player ever to record more than 100 catches in consecutive seasons. Then, in 1994, he soared even higher with 18 touchdown receptions 
a number only surpassed by Jerry Rice's 22 in 1987, marking it the second highest in league history at that time. Remember October 24, 1993? That was the day Sterling matched a historic feat by Don Hudson from 1945, becoming the second player in Packers history to snag four touchdown receptions in a single game, though a neck injury in 1994 cut his career short. I've Pro Bowl selection in receptions, touchdowns, and receiving yards. His career was a highlight reel of football excellence. The Sharp brothers, Shannon and Sterling, didn't just play in the NFL. They redefined it, breaking barriers, setting records, and leaving a legacy that resonates long after the final whistle. But hold up, the Sharp narrative doesn't just wrap up on the gridiron. The family success story continues with the only female Sharp, Shara Sharp, a titan in her own ride in the business arena. After bagging a degree in business administration from the University of Georgia, Shara stormed Atlanta, carving a unique path in the sports and entertainment industry. Shara's resume? It's like a who's who in the world of sports and showbiz, mixing it up with the big leagues, NFL, NBA, MLB, NASCAR, and hobnobbing with music giants like Jay-Z, Usher, and T.I.? Absolutely! Diving headfirst into movie and TV production? Just playing the game. She's rewriting the rules. And Midas Touch isn't confined to one domain. She's a maestro, orchestrating major plays with teams like the Atlanta Falcons and Miami Dolphins. Her influence? It's like a tidal wave, sweeping across various sports arenas. But wait, there's more to this tale. Cast your eyes back to the roots of this family tree. Meet Pete Sharp, the patron Shannon was just a little guy. Then, in a twist more shocking than a last-second game winner, lung cancer takes Pete out of the picture, leaving Shannon adrift in his eighth grade year. This curveball plunges the family into a sea of financial woes, thrusting Shannon and now spotlight on Mary Porter, the grandmother, the rock of Glenville, Georgia. She's the one holding down the fort, raising Shannon and his siblings. Her age, a homage to the lasting mark she left on his life and legacy. And that's the final whistle for today's episode. We've just taken a deep dive into the often unseen yet utterly captivating chapters of Shannon Sharp's family history. What? How much do you think their family saga sculpted Shannon's path? Should it be a key player in his career highlights? All our viewers for joining in. I hope this exploration was as eye-opening for you as it was for me. Don't forget, I'm not going anywhere. I'll be back with more gripping stories just like this. So, until next time, keep your game strong and your spirits up.